lobby. We're in the lobby room of Ameritech. This is where some of the shooting has taken place, haven't they? So why not a reality show about condominium management? And really, anywhere around the world, whether it's condominiums, associations, or whatever, it's when people are living in close contacts. That's what we're exhibiting. Condo Cops, initially, we thought about it as kind of a marketing plan. That's why, from a financial standpoint, it made sense. You know, it could be more of an info commercial in a funny kind of way, but then it kind of took root. It morphed into something larger than us. Absolutely. Really, it did. A human behavior is very funny, it's very unusual sometimes, and it is around the world that way. So we finally took the bull by the horns and says, you know, we're gonna have to edit these shows ourselves. And they translate very well into other cultures, other languages, other countries, and what have you. Because it's really, a, it's a commentary on, on the human condition. We're averaging 25 to 30 different stories a month that are really crazy and out to lunch. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get this done. Okay. All right. How do I look? You comfortable? Yeah, I'm comfortable. Um, let's get you a shirt. You saw that shirt? Why? What's wrong with us? Well, you look too comfortable. I mean, if we could just cover up a little bit here, you just look like you might be a little crunched up a little bit. You saying I got a big gut? I'm just saying it would. I really don't have a big gut, you know. It's the camera that's 10 pounds, so. All right, so you want me to put a shirt just on? Just put a shirt on. We'll look, we'll see. So how's this? Is this better? It's much better. Are you sure? I certainly wouldn't want to look fat on TV. You look fat. Mm -hmm. Good, it's covered. All right. All right, so we're going to start off with you just talking about who you are and your company. Okay. My name is Mike Perez, and I'm the CEO of a company called Ameritech Community Management. You know, I'm kind of the new guy on the block, and I'm not so sure how to pitch a reality TV show. You're pitching right now. Well, thank you for that. Lean back. Go. <clears throat> I'm not so sure how to pitch a reality TV show. Is oh, that better? You're still going. I mean, just talk it. You're doing the, you're doing the voiceover. Kind of All right, so here goes. In May of 2015, I decided to assemble a team of professionals and produce a reality TV show called Condo Cops. You know, it's currently airing locally in the Tampa Bay market, which includes Sarasota and Bradenton, Florida. The show is an interactive reenactment reality TV show about the life of property managers that deal with condominium living and some of the outrageous, horrifying, and hilarious situations that we encounter almost daily. How's that so far? Pretty good. Right. In fact, I always wondered why, why, I don't know. I always wondered what I did. Start from the beginning on that. I always wondered what I did in a previous life to deserve this. I always wondered in a previous life to deserve this chosen occupation of mine. What can I do again? I always wondered. <laughs> One more time, come on, you can do it. You know, I always said to myself, what did I do in a previous life to deserve this chosen occupation of mine? And I figured, yeah, a reality show, why not? I've been a property manager for almost 30 years, and the hundreds of stories we've assembled is simply incredible. So we've taken the best of the worst to show you what really happens when good residents go bad. You like that, go bad? Yeah, it's classic. Yeah. Well, you're funny. <laughs> As a management company serving the Tampa Bay area for nearly 20 years, we manage almost 200 communities and about 25,000 homes. You know, we occupy about 8,000 square feet of office space in Clearwater, with several locations throughout the Tampa Bay area, employing about 75 people. Some of the stories range from kids terrorizing the community crazy Russian guy insisting that he has the right to park his truck on the grass. I like to park on grass, park on the tree, keep my truck cool. You got a parking space right over there, that's where you need to park it. Oh what, you arrest me? What are you, condo cop or something? Or well, maybe you think you KGB. This is your last warning. If they tow this, you're gonna have to pay to get it back. This is America, land of the free. I left Russia to be free from government. Condo, not government. You have no authority. From residents feeding alligators, creating dangerous situations. <laughs> or what's really funny is this pissed off homeowner that decides to defecate in the hallway and he gets caught.
here's to you, condo Nazis. From Naked Santa? How do you know I walk around in my house naked? I live across the street. You never close your curtains. Wow, that's a great picture. Do you mind if I have that? You are kidding. Listen, if this bothers you so much, why do you keep looking? Obviously, you must like what you see. Would you like a closer look? Hell no. I'm sending this to the property manager. Oh. To a crazy voodoo lady. Do you have any family members I can call? <laughs> this is Mrs. Page, I'm going to get somebody out here to help you, OK? This is you. Help. You better get some help. And then a guy who actually installs a fully functional toilet on his front porch. And what's really funny, he gets caught using it. I'll tell you, the stories just keep coming. How's that? Sorry. Sorry? Let me do it again. And what's really funny is he's actually using it. And the stories just keep coming and coming. And coming. How's that? F hey, f up. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost forgot. Check out our questions. They're interactive and really cool. You know, I feel bad for Mrs. Page. But did you know it's estimated that nearly one in five Americans suffer from mental illness each year? That's nuts. That represents 42 million Americans. That explains a lot. Or 18.2% of the total adult population in the United States. Oh, but you're part of that group. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen to Mrs. Page? <laughs> a. She will be involuntarily committed to a mental health facility for up to 72 hours. I would love that. B. She will be court ordered to submit to a voluntary psychological evaluation. That sounds voluntary. Or is it C, she's being held in a mandatory secure detention facility for up to 72 hours for observation. Go to jail. The answer is A. She will be involuntarily committed to a mental health facility for up to 72 hours. You know, under the Florida Baker Act, a person may be taken involuntarily to a mental health facility if they pose a threat to themselves or others. And there must be a reason to believe that that person has mental illness. Cocoa for Cocoa Puffs. They also have to refuse a voluntary examination or otherwise is unable to determine whether an examination for themselves is even necessary. I'm fine. <laughs>